Hi guys, after quite a long absence I'm going to make a new recipe a very interesting recipe a um, fish sausage so this is the first time I'm going to make this recipe so hopefully everything will be fine and then we will see the end result of the whole process okay for making the sausage we need of course the fish this is a fresh fresh carp I got him last night uh, at the Bainy at my house it's about three kilos so it's roughly something like 10 12 pounds uh, it's a mirror carp and also uh, you make the sausage from some mixed fish uh, like a carp a catfish a grass carp uh, maybe some white fish so I'm going to use those bull heads we call them the uh, midget catfish because I prefer to make this sausage from uh, fresh fish uh, from our uh, from our bay from from the Danube of course you can buy all the fish at your local store so for one kilo uh, of sausage I mean we need about one kilo of mixed fish then we need about 15 grams of uh, salt 15 grams of paprika I'm going to use uh, uh, sweet paprika and sweet chili smoked one also you need about five grams of hot chili I'm going to use some habanero you need about 15 grams of uh, garlic and you need about two grams of uh, caraway, se caraway seeds and of course you need some I don't know how much I just bought 10 meters so it's 30 feet of uh, sausage casing uh, it it was advised uh, to use some uh, U casings but I have on uh, only pork casings I think it will be still okay so now I were going to make the fish fillets to prepare mince the garlic and all the garlic and all that stuff and then we will continue we will go on with our video this is our carp ready for being filleted. Okay, now we have our nice fillets. Well, kind of a fillets because I'm not a chef, you know, not a professional chef. So I tried to make those fillets as lean as possible. And now we are going to grind them. And we will have the nice minced fish. And then we are going to proceed with our sausage okay okay the meat is nicely grinded two times uh, we used uh, two types of uh, 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 grinders this one is a five millimeter and this one is a uh, three millimeter and uh, for the uh, for the small fish or for the boneless uh, fish like uh, catfish or like you need the small one or you need the big one and for a uh, fish like carp with lots of bones uh, you need the uh, small one uh, also I forgot to mention that uh, this is the first well as I told you this is the first time we are making this sausage and we are making the traditional choboy sausage style it's a typical Hungarian uh, sausage uh, so that will be a, uh, there will be a fish sausage choboy style and also we make we will make part of it uh, something like kind of a fitness fish sausage so we will add some uh, vegetables you can use fresh vegetables the best thing is like broccoli zucchini and carrots things like this and uh, we will make something like a fitness uh, fish sausage so we are going to grind the, uh, these vegetables as well if you don't have fresh vegetables you can use frozen uh, I have the frozen ones so now we are going to grind them as well and then uh, make it make uh, uh, we'll add it to a part of the grinded meat um, also uh, I uh, uh, forget to mention uh, that the result of the whole process so we are going to have uh, something like 1.7 kilograms or approximately four pounds of uh, uh, grinded fish
so then we will see uh, how much sausage we will have at the end from this quantity okay now we are going to add the spices the paprika caraway seeds and I have that brought from Thailand some nice good chili should be nice some more like that and also I forgot to mention how much salt salt you need so it's about 15 grams per kilogram or uh, about half an ounce for two pounds but of course it depends on your preferences so your taste so you can choose whatever quantity you need okay and now we are going nicely mince the whole stuff and mix it all together okay I kept some a part of the uh, minced fish uh, for my uh, fitness sausage so we are going to add the uh, vegetables and also nicely mix everything all together so we will have well hopefully we are going to have a fitness sausage we will see what we will have as a final result in just a short period of time so something like this okay okay now we're going to assemble the grinder for making the sausage so you don't need the grinding disc you don't need the knife no nothing there's a special attachment you can buy it in some uh, butcher stores or some big supermarkets wherever uh, some special advice and also as I told you we need the the skins okay just a little technical problem okay so first thing when you start you just have to leave a little space for the uh, for the air and then you make a little knot at the end of this uh, casing before you start okay so we add a little uh, stuff some grinded stuff and then now we are going to proceed with the uh, grinding process unfortunately this is a very nice but very old more than 30 years old grinder and so it's so no noisy I can't uh, record the process because then you won't hear a single word but you will see it in the meantime in the meantime Okay, now we are going to make a little knot at the end just to tighten it up like this okay so you see the uh, first part of the sausage and now we are going to make the whole stuff and then I will continue the video you can stop the process anytime and you see you can make a little twist right there and uh, your sausage will be like whatever length you want and also uh, by making those little stops you will prevent uh, the so-called air bubbles so uh, the texture will be nice and smooth and all tight okay now you can spread it evenly uh, through, the case, through the casing you can cut it off wherever you want make it a longer or a, a shorter piece of sausage make a little knot at the other end of the uh, casing and your sausage is ready you see 
something like that just you need a little assistance okay and that's it so these are sausages ready so you can proceed on with the second part and you can make it small pieces long pieces like twins whatever so it's up to you by the way this is a technical moment like you are putting on the uh, uh, cases the porks cases on the adapter for making the sausage like that okay and this is our fitness sausages ready I mean ready for going into the oven or to the frying pan wherever whatever you prefer so now we have this is regular sausage fish sausage choboy style so typical Hungarian style and also I I made a little twist and so I decided the very last portion since we love very much Asian food so I decided to make a little bit Asian way so I added some uh, habanero chilies I added a little uh, curcuma I added a little uh, mixture of uh, various uh, peppers uh, some um, uh, so some uh, dill some Thai dill uh, then I added some uh, ground ginger and some uh, dried onions like I said the curcuma and white pepper so it will be sausage Asian let's call it fish sausage Thai style made by Bela and the shoe and his two chefs so this is the final result result before the frying or the deep frying three types of sausages on the left is the fitness sausage this one this is the uh, Asian style sausage no this is a regular style choboy sausage and this one is Asian style with the curcuma and all the Asian spices okay now I warmed up up to 180 degrees I don't remember how much this is uh, this in uh, Fahrenheit something like 120 130 uh, no more I have to check it okay I warmed up the uh, oven electric oven a uh, with a thermal heat circulation I put in the sausage added a little water and now I have to bake it fry it for about 20 minutes and after 20 minutes we have to make we those little pinch it and then we will fry it for another 20 minutes but we will see during the frying process what will be okay and here is the final resu result The sausage is almost ready unfortunately I was told it's like 40 45 minutes but I think it's more than an hour maybe I added a little bit more water than than it was necessary but at least now it's nice and perfect okay so these are the first three sausages these were the fitness sausages and I will make the other a little bit further so if you are going to fry them you need just very very little water you have to punch them with a little uh, like something like a needle or whatever make those little tiny holes after about 20 30 minutes and then repeat it after another 10 minutes and altogether i think you are going to need about one hour to make those sausages nice brown and ready and delicious so enjoy, thanks for watching.